Hi, my name is Mike Macedonio, and I am joined today by with Randy Stemmer. Randy Stemmer is another superstar in the BNI SF Bay region. Randy, this year alone, are you ready for this? He sponsored seven members in 2020. Seven members, easily, clearly the top 1%, probably the top 10% of the top 1%. And not only that, in Randy's BNI history, he has sponsored 29 members into behind, creating a legacy of business owners that are building their business through the introductions that Randy has made. Randy, I'm gonna ask you to please share with the rest of us mortals, how is it that you've been so successful sponsoring so many members in BNI in such a short period of time? Well, thank you, uh, Mike. Yes, I think the number one thing is mindset. I think you just need to kind of think through what your obstacles are. I mean, what I thought through what's preventing me from, from inviting. That was my, my strategy and my, one of my tactics, which um, I found to be really Im important is time blocking. So I block out time on my calendar where I invite, that's all I do. I call people and I invite them. And especially if it's people that I haven't talked to in a while or per people that I think are prospective members. So the strategy is having a positive mindset and the tactic is time blocking. So may I ask you a detailed question? When, when you're connecting with these people, what are you saying that has them magically showing up at your BNI meeting? Um, my process is that, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not calling these people with the pure intention of just inviting them, Mike. I mean, I'm calling them because I haven't talked to them for a while. They're friends of mine, they're colleagues of mine, they're clients of mine, and I'm just calling to check in. That, that's the intention. And normally in the course of conversation, and more this year than any year, obviously, 2020, people are telling me my business is not doing well. I'm, I, I don't know what I'm going to do, Right. And then I talk more about, okay, well, specifically, how, what business are you in? How, what, how, how can I help you? That's my question. How can I help you? And ultimately, at that point, you know, they're, they're asking me for um, opportunities. And that's when I say, hey, you know what? I, I'm part of this referral group. We meet weekly. You want to just come and meet some people. Maybe there's someone there that can help you. No obligation, just show up, meet some people. And ultimately they always say yes. That's, that's brilliant. It, it, first of all, inviting them to meet people, not a meeting, not BNI, but also what was brilliant also, Randy, in your strategy of making touches, okay? And, and touching people you haven't spoke to a while, you know, making those deposits and making those touches is really what keeps our sphere of influence intact or else it will dissolve. And so it's a great strategy. And it just happens to be an introduction into meeting the people that are part of your network. Uh, absolutely brilliant. All right, with all of these people that you've sponsored and offered to help and be an I, is there any one in particular that you say, man, I know we made, that made a difference? Well, I'm, I'm gonna give you a general example and then I'm gonna give you a specific example. So the general example is typically people that, um, by their own admission, don't feel good about marketing themselves. And those are typically authors, artists, musicians, those kind of people, which is really ironic because they have such a gift to bring. And yet most of them all suffer from this, you know, I don't have anything of value. To, to bring people, which is the ultimate dichotomy. So that's the general, uh, you know, authors, our authors, artists, musicians, those kind of people, anybody that hates marketing themselves, that's a perfect, a general category. Specifically, it's people that are shy by nature. And so those are, those are people that are just petrified of public speaking. And those are the people that I get the most gratification of seeing over a period of time. I mean, when they first stood up to introduce themselves, their teeth were ch ch chattering. They couldn't finish a sentence. It was just a disaster, right? But over time, they've become polished speakers. 
and now they're public speaking like like with second nature. So I think that that's probably my 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 greatest gratification. Well, that's interesting, you know, because a lot of times we look at the business that they receive or, you know, where it takes them in life and stuff. But, you know, truly, probably the biggest return comes from that personal and professional development that you get by being around other professionals. That's that is absolutely the case. So, Randy, you're a marketing expert. Clearly, everything you're describing here comes from experience as a marketing expert. If you were to share something with our viewers or listeners in marketing or B&I, what tip would you give them? Well, I think the number, the number one thing that really motivates me, and again, I'm going to use our, our visitor example, is knowing that I'm doing my best to help the person. That's really critical um, because then I can get over what other obstacles are in my way. Um, so my first tip would be just realize that you're the one giving the gift. I mean, when I make that invitation, I'm giving the gift, even though it may not be that they may not see it that way right now. Um, so that would be my first tip. Um, my second tip would be, ultimately, this is going to be the greatest gift for them, for my referral partners, and for myself. And, and knowing that over a time, over a given amount of time, that gift is going to be rewarded um, is what drives me. Because then it's like, why wouldn't I want to do that? I mean, the more the merrier. Oh, that's a, it's a great mindset. And it's, it, it's so true. You know, you're not, you're not going to make people market. But if you show them the opportunity of this is one tool that could be in your toolbox, take a look at it. You know, give it a try. And, and that's just a, a, just a great mindset. Well, Randy, if any of our viewers or listeners would like to reach out and connect with you, what would be the best way for them to contact you? So my, my name is on the screen. Uh, my name is Randy Stemmer. And you can reach me uh, by going to bnisfa.com. Um, um, the name of my referral group is High Performance Referrals. Um, so you can, you can go there and I'm happy to, to talk with anyone that has questions. Oh, thank you very much, Randy. Thanks for your time today. And thanks for sharing the tips that make you a one percenter. I look forward to celebrating this when we can do it face to face. Thank you so much, Randy. Thank you, Mike. And thanks for your time.